Hey everyone, welcome to Online Education Academy today. On today's lesson, we'll be doing the Gaussian elimination without pivoting. Right, so if you are given these numbers and then you are requested to do Gaussian elimination without pivoting, this is what we can do. Okay, so we're given this argumented matrix, right? So, what we can do here. Without pivoting, which means without changing, without exchanging the rows and columns, you just do the Gaussian elimination like this. So we must have a lower triangle matrix of having zeros here in this in these three places, right? So what we can do here, because we are requested to do the Gaussian elimination without pivoting, what we can do, we can we we can say now, we can say. R2 points to row 2 it's going to be row 2 minus then we're going to say this the first element in row 2 first number which is going to be 2 comma 2 2 2 all over 3 comma 3 3 3 3 comma 3 3 3 first element in row 1 multiply by row 1 right so then we're going to do for for row 3 also then in row 3, we, we're just going to say row 3 is 2, row 3 minus, we're going to do the same thing, it's going to be 1, 5, 6, 1, 1, 1, 5, 6, 1, 1, first number in row 3, over that first number in row 1, all over 3, 3, 3, 3, then we multiply by R1 again. So, having done these two operations, then we get our argumented matrix as follows, using a calculator. The first one is going to be the same, which is going to be 3, 3, 3, 3, 15, 9, 20, and then minus 10, 3, 3, 3, and then... Having the last one is 15, 9, 13. So what is going to change is row 2. If you put row 2, row 2 is 2, 2, 2. If you put 2, 2, 2 here, then minus 3, 3, 3. Here you also put 3, 3, 3. This and this will cancel. And then 2, 2, 2 will minus each other. Then you get a 0 here. Same thing with, with row 3. Row 3, this 1,5 something something. 3,3 3, 3 cancel and then 1,5 they cancel each other. Then we have the two zeros here already. And then after having the two zeros, using your calculator you can get minus 10, 5, 9, Seven. If you substitute row two, if you substitute the sixteen comma one one ten here minus two comma two 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 over three comma three 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 times that three comma three 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 times that fifteen comma fifteen nine twenty in arrow in row one. The second element in row one. Then you're gonna get minus ten thousand five hundred and ninety seven. Then you can get sixteen comma five zero one and then minus ten five eighty. Then for the third row.
here's minus 7 74 5 1 comma 4 then we have 6 comma 5 2 4 9 then we have minus 7 4 4 4 comma 9 Then after this, then we're going to do the same for to have a zero here. So to do this, we're gonna use row two and row three. What are you going to say? We're gonna say row our row three points to row three minus then we have this minus seven four five one comma four all over minus ten five nine seven then this is going to multiply by row two and we multiply by row two Okay, then we're having our final matrix here. Our final matrix is going to be 3, 3, 3, 3, 15, 9, 20. We didn't do anything to row 1. Didn't change anything. Minus 10, 3, 3, 3. So without pivoting, you're doing the Gaussian elimination without changing the rows, without interchanging the rows. <gasps> then we have 15, 9, 13. Then we have 0 here. We have 0 here. Then the second row, no changes. Minus 10, 5, 9, 7. Then we have having 16 comma 5 0 1. Then we have minus 10 5 80. Then the last row now changes. Now if you put if you put this minus 7 4 5 1 here under row 3 and then Minus ten five nine seven and row two and, and minus ten five nine seven will cancel each other. Then you get a zero here for this one, for this part by substituting. Then for substitute for substituting this side, then you're going to get minus five comma zero seven eight one. Then we having even this side we have minus five comma zero seven eight one and then we're going to use back substituting back substitution to get our um, the third value x3 is going to be minus five comma zero seven eight one divided by minus 5 comma 0 7 8 1 which is going to give us 1 so we have 1 for x3 and then we have x2 so uh, our um, let's do this and for x2 this is what we can do For x2, we're having minus 10, 5, 9, 7, then plus 16, 
So we're eating this 16,501. And then our x3 is what? It's 1 mass, which means it will remain the same like that. And then this is going to be x2 is equals to minus 10, 5, 8. Minus 10, 5, 80. And then, Our x2 then is going to be equals to minus 10, 5, 80, minus, then when we take this to the other side of the plug, so it'll be minus, minus 16, comma, 5, 0, 1. Then this is going to be all over. All over that minus 10, 5, 9, 7. So when you use your calculator to punch this out, you're going to get your answer is equals to 1. And then our x, then we're having. Then x1 plus x2 plus x3 because it didn't it, it doesn't change here. What we're going to simply do for this part, then we're going to do the following. We're going to say three comma three 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 x1 plus fifteen. 920 x2 minus 10 yeah minus 10 comma 333 let's say x3 is equals to 15 913 but what we know now, 3,333x1, so we know that x2 is 1 and x3 is 1, right? So it's going to be plus 15, 920, minus 10, 333, which is equal to 15, 913. And then... Then, using your calculator, you can find x1, which is going to be equals to, then we can take these two numbers that are on the other side of the bracket. Right, so here, what you're going to get, x1, then if you subtract these two, then you take it to the other side of the bracket, and then you subtract it 5918, you're going to get 3, 3333, then you divide it by 3,333, then which is 1. Then we have solved this case. We have, we have solved for, for Cassian elimination without pivoting. So... Our final answer is 1, 1, and 1 for x1, x2, x3. So this is how you do Cassian elimination without pivoting. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to subscribe for more learning content.